Hey everyone, it's Tay with Spectacular Gadgets and in this video I'm going to do an unboxing of the Razer Phone 2. So with this unboxing I'm pretty excited because I've never owned a Razer phone before nor have I really had a, uh, a phone that's specifically made for gaming. So yeah, you can argue that the Note 9 is also a gaming phone, but this phone was made by gamers for gamers. So let me go ahead and take the plastic off this nice box and peel it off ever so gently. And once we do this, the box actually feels pretty nice. The logo looks even nicer. Let's go ahead and get a better look at this logo. And depending on the way the lighting hits the logo, it, it gives off a different kind of color. So I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so flipping the box around, there is the Razer branding. That's a nice touch. Nothing on the back. The contents of the box, which I'll go into more, but there you see it. And that's pretty much it. Look at this nice, now this is a really nice pull tab. This is a very nice touch. Attention to detail I'm seeing already. So it's like a magnetic type of flap and that's pretty cool. Great attention to detail is what I'm noticing just with the packaging of the Razer Phone 2. Upon opening the box, you see it says flagship gaming. And then I have a nice little letter here. Let's see. The Razer Phone was created for those serious performance. We're kicking ass and game or haha <laughs> that's pretty nice okay and then it's sign all right uh the letter feels like wax paper almost so um i don't really get that in other unboxing so nice touch razor good job and then here we have the phone and they make it easy like i've been noticing with a lot of unboxings i get a a tab to take the phone out of the packaging and we'll just quickly look at that. There's that logo again, that Razer logo, pretty nice. But um, we will get into that once I go ahead and pull the other contents of the box out. Um, so you turn this almost like a book. This is telling us a story. So let's see what this story is all about, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. And from many unboxings that I've done before, I can probably tell you that this contains a uh, manual and most likely, the, well, excuse me, most likely the sim ejection tool. Ooh. Now, attention to detail. I'm loving the green. Yes, I know this is a, a gamer phone, but wow. And it even has razor. That That's really nice. That is in the green around the, this is, this is just great attention to detail. I'm loving it. So this is just telling you how to turn the phone on and how to eject the sim tray. Here is the actual Razer Phone 2 manual for gamers, by gamers. And it just gives you instructions on how to set your phone up. Pretty nice. Put that to the side. So zoom in a little bit so we can get a better look. Um, let's go ahead. Oh, this feels actually like felt. That's pretty cool. And here is the charging brick. And it says Razer has the Razer logo. Looks like type C. Let me take the plastic off so we can get a better look without having a glare. So pull tab, easy to get out. I'm loving it. Ooh, check that out. The Razer logo right on the charging brick. Also the, the Razer logo on both sides. That is nice. And like I said, that's type C. So I'll put that back in, keep things nice and organized. And what do I want to pull out next? Um, okay, let's pull out. All right, this is uh, green inside. I'm just loving the green. I'm loving all this. Um, this just really makes it stand out. The cable is braided. So both ends are has that nice touch of green, that nice splash of green in it. And the cable seems fairly long and braided, like I said. So nice touch again, Razor. So pulling out the last accessory of the box, you have a USB-C audio adapter. Because this phone no longer has a headphone jack, you will go ahead and put your headphones into that. Plug this Type-C into the bottom of your phone, and there you can listen to your headphones. I'm not quite sure why Razer took the headphone jack away, being that this is a gaming phone. But it is what it is, so we will continue. So peeling the plastic off, we can finally get a look-see at what this device looks like. 
um, it is glass and the glass will help with the new feature of wireless charging. It is a beauty. This is the best look you're gonna get before all the fingerprints get on it. So moving along to this side, you see you have the SIM tray, which also houses the extra storage, it goes up to one terabyte, the up and the down volume keys. It looks like this was designed in California, but made in China, which is cool. You have your USB type C for charging, and then you have a uh, antenna band. Then moving right along, you are greeted with the fingerprint scanner. So there's no fingerprint scanner on the back, which I'm used to. It is on the side, which is cool. And lastly, you have the microphone. Moving to the back, there are two cameras, 12 megapixel f1.75 and flash 12 point megapixel f2.7. There's the logo. And let's go ahead and power this thing on. So I go ahead and Hold this button down I guess it's it for three seconds and it ooh, this is a nice animation pretty cool seems kind of gamerish go ahead and set that down and let it do what it do razor okay that's pretty nice so here's the welcome screen let me go ahead and let's see we want to oh check that out now that is the logo on the back, so that's pretty cool. But let me go ahead and get this started. So this is the user license agreement. This is like a whole book here. My goodness, this is a lot. So you have to scroll, keep scrolling, yada, yada, yada. Okay, cool. Wow, that is a lot. I wonder who actually reads that. But so anyways, you're gonna go ahead and hit next. Um, agreement, so something about a Razer ID, single unified login account for all Razer services. So I don't have one of those, so I'll probably have to make one. So I'll say accept. Then here uh, talks about data collection. So I will also have to say accept. So I'm not gonna connect this to a mobile network right now. Um, so I will go ahead and skip this. So I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi. Okay, now it wants to update the phone and look at the size of that update. 561.1 megabytes. So that seems pretty decent, pretty hefty. So I will go ahead and hit next. And this might take a while, so I'll go ahead and kind of fast forward through some things and, you know, because I don't want to have us all waiting. So here um, I'm doing part two of two and it's still kind of update. The update is installing. So we'll just let that go ahead and do what it do. And here we have to go ahead and set up how we want to get into the phone. So I want to unlock the phone with the fingerprint scanner. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a pen. And I always do the secure startup. You have to add a pen for all my devices. So let me go ahead and put my pen in, okay. So now we can go ahead and set up the fingerprint scanner. Remember it's on the side. I'll use my thumb and that's kind of where my thumb rests anyway. So it's trying to learn my fingerprint. And I think like I do most of my fingerprint scanners, I'm gonna go ahead and use my other hand on the same fingerprint login. So I'll use my pointer finger of my left hand. Cause you see, that's kind of where it naturally rests when I hold it in my left hand get a few of those in there and then I will finish it off with the thumb of my right hand. So now we have added a fingerprint and you also have the option to add another if you'd like. We will go ahead and go to next and this is just explaining about the assistant voice match and yada yada yada. So we'll go ahead and hit next. Okay, so this is your assistant and it's just telling you about voice match and I'll probably go ahead and set that up later. We'll go to done. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna do it. So we'll just say done. So I have to do my pen, but let me try the fingerprint reader. And this is Google services. So I just have to agree. And so now it's saying anything else. Do I wanna add another email, review additional apps or set the screen lock? So right now we'll just go ahead and just say we're done and you're greeted with the Razer login. 
So here is how the phone looks, but we want to know about that chroma feature. I'm pretty excited about that. So here you can go ahead and put the settings on if you want it to flash for notifications and um, the battery consumption. They have low, medium, and high, so it kind of tells you what features it's going to take off or leave on or just to help your battery consumption. Um, so here are the different colors you can pick. There's several, several, several of them. And you can adjust how bright you want the LED to shine on the back of the logo. And I think that's just so cool. So that's me just kind of playing with the different colors. And you can pick the color of your choice. So that's pretty cool. And on here, this is the different type of chroma effects you can have display on the logo. So um, here I just did the, what did I do? I had breathing. So this one says this effect features default colors that cannot be edited, but that is a pretty sharp looking color there. Um, so let's just get a look at the type of colors that this chroma feature displays and they are pretty good looking colors. So all in all, the phone itself has uh, is very nice to look at, but I will have to test things like the camera, the speakers, and see how those things um, will fit for my needs. And will this be a daily driver or will it just be, will I just use it solely for gaming? Lastly, let me hit you with some of the specs. This is a Snapdragon 845, uh, eight gigabytes of system memory, 64 gigabytes of internal storage, but you can expand that storage externally um, up to one terabyte, which is pretty decent. This has a 5.72 inch LCD, 1440 by 2560 display, but the coolest thing about this phone, which I should have mentioned in the beginning, that the display rate is a 120 hertz. So that refresh rate is pretty decent. Um, also, it is um, IP67 water resistant. It is running Android 8.1 and it has wireless charging. And um, the battery is 4000 milliamp and it has quick charge 4.0. So this phone is featuring um, a decent amount of specs for the price point. And I will go ahead and use it for a little bit and see how I like it. Until next time, peace.